Hey, and welcome to this video on basically parsing a web page using Python. So here on the left side, I have a simple HTML page, and it has two links here that we want to scrape or extract using Python. And on the right here, I have a file called scrape.py. So this will be our Python program doing the scraping. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started and create this program. So first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to want to import our beautiful soup package. Okay, so I'm just going to import beautiful soup using from BS4, import beautiful soup. And if you don't already have that, you could basically use this command, pip install beautiful soup for and it should install that package for you if you are using Python uh, version 3 I believe it comes with pip already installed uh, into Python alright next thing we need to do is we want to use or import our request package and if you don't have that one you can use um, pip install and then request and that should install that package for you all right so these are the two packages that we're going to use to scrape data from our website so let's actually get to coding now so first thing I want to do is I want to ask uh, the user for the input URL and we'll use an example so for example we want to ask this URL so I'm just going to copy it paste it here all right so and we want to store it in a variable called URL so I'm going to say URL equals input enter a website to extract the uh, links from or the extract uh, yeah we want to actually uh, extract the links so Let's do that. I'm just going to do control S to save, or we can also do file and then save. All right. So next thing we want to do is request data from the server using the git protocol. So I'm going to store in a variable called R. So we say R equals request dot git URL so this of course comes from our request package and now we need to basically convert that raw response to text so that's exactly what I'm going to put here in order to retrieve the data from the response object so our response object is our R here, we must convert the raw response to text. And we can do that. Now we'll set it uh, to a variable called data. And let's go ahead and convert it to text by saying r.txt. Okay. Um, next up, we want to use Python's HTML parser. So Python's HTML parser and I'm going to set it equal to a variable called soup and we're going to use beautiful soup uh, function and put data and we're going to use the HTML parser okay to parse our HTML now I'm going to create a variable called list it's going to be an empty list so I'm just going to put the two uh, quotes there all right and now let's actually get all the links from the a tags with attribute href okay and let's see 
we'll use a loop so we'll say for the link in soup dot find all we want to find all the a tags um, oops what we want to do now is we want to append to the list so list plus equals link dot get the href attribute and then every time we get that href attribute I want to put a new line so I'm going to append a new line by saying backslash in so that way it just looks neat and then I want to print the list all right so I think that's about it I'm just gonna save it and what we're gonna do is I have my command prompt open I'm just gonna slide it on over here and first off I'm gonna let you guys see the the version of Python that I'm using uh, so I'm using Python 3.4 and we can check that by saying python dash v alright so um, I want to execute the program now so I think to say python and python is basically a program is uh, an executable file located in my uh, located on the hard drive here and this python um, name here or name convention basically just points to that that directory where the python.exe file is. If you don't already have um, this Python naming uh, convention set up, you can do it yourself. Uh, maybe I put up a video on it, uh, how to how to basically just have it where you can just type Python and then run your program. But if you don't, um, you have to go to the location where your python.exe file is, and then um, we're going to put in the parameters for where our Python program is, our Python file, our source code. All right, so the source code name is, of course, grape.py, but again, I have to put in the full location. So my full location is C slash users slash RDNE slash desktop slash scrape.py all right so let's go ahead and press enter okay perfect so now it says enter a website to extract the links from so this is the website I want I'm gonna copy it go back here I'm gonna paste it and let's see it should give us these two links here which both say yahoo.com so I'm gonna go ahead and press enter it looks like there's some problem. Let's see. Uh, to do for link in soup dot find all a none type object is callable. Okay, so that's because uh, there's no, no such thing as soup dot find all. I made a mistake, so I'm just going to come back over here, and it should be an underscore here. And now let's save this. Okay, I'm just going to press the up arrow, run the program again, and paste our website. And now we see that we get back uh, our two links, which is http www.yahoo.com from this website here. All right, and so that's basically it. Um, I hope this was pretty understandable and simple uh, if not you know let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you so thanks as always for watching guys and I see you all in the next video